So uh, we're here at the Cedar Falls Municipal Band Museum, or maybe it's the Iowa Band Museum, home of the Cedar Falls Municipal Band. It's actually the, the oldest uh, municipal band museum in uh, Iowa today. We'll find a little bit more about that, I'm sure, uh, as we start to look at the displays. This uh, is the sign-in book for the Iowa Band Museum, which is the home of the Cedar Falls Municipal Band Hall. And these are the visitors that sign in here. They just ask you for the date, your name, where you're from, and any comments that you would like to leave for the municipal band. I'm Justin Nelson. I played tuba in the Cedar Falls Band now for 57 years. Well, these, these pictures in the hallway are every 10 years from what? Uh, 19. About the first 18, 1846. 
nowadays? No, we haven't used those uniforms for some time. Uh, these were these were purchased in 19, actually 52, and then uh, we decided, wait a minute, let's let's keep those, and we first used them in Chicago in 1953. Oh, and that's when you won first place, isn't it? Last first place. Must be a lucky uniform. Well, good band. Yeah, good band. Now let's see, Chuck's in here with these instruments. Here's one of those. Chuck had another collar over there. Now are these instruments still in use? Yeah, they're in the garage. Yeah, they're in the garage. Probably the clarinets, well, the clarinets and the, uh, anything with pads may not be really much of uh, plain condition. Just barely. Oh, they got number number thirty oil in there. Yeah. yeah. Played this one, this I very have, one. Here. I have played that one, yeah. But it's uh, let's see, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's 35 pounds. So. Have to see a chiropractor a lot after each concert. Well, I I haven't played that in a long time. Do they make make it out of lighter material in these days? Yeah, they're usually lighter, thinner, uh -huh. thinner brass. Now, do you find that changes the the sound it makes? Is it decrease in quality when you use like well, thinner material? From I'm not sure about that, but from from that and fiberglass, fiberglass is, mm -hmm. is not the quality right. of this. And apparently, manufacturers are getting away from from fiberglass. Mm -hmm. That's good. Back to that. So does anyone play this this double bell or uh, euphonium anymore? I think that was probably played last in 1991 in our during our centennial. Oh. How does that change the sound when you switch from one bell to the other? The you would, you would catch the. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, they're they're in different 
shapes. Sometimes the bill is straight up. Uh, don't have one. The bells quite often are straight up and maybe not detachable. I think these are always turned forward. Uh, we'd probably play that. Right now. It would sound a little bit more like a trombone. Yeah, it's got a, it's a beautiful instrument, both yes. in shape and sound. Yeah, it's a pretty good shape. It's yeah. somewhere, of course. We decided we would ride, and we have a modern day version of the bandwagon, it's, huh? It's a stretch, <laughs> stretch bandwagon. <laughs> That is nice. Can you get that without too much reflection? Yep. Now, did the the person driving the semi did they ever get tempted and like start playing along with their semi horn? I don't know <laughs> if he had a if he had a horn or not, but it was quite a challenge. Big man. That's interesting. You see a, a lot more females in this picture. Than oh yes. Than the one over there. Yes. Does that correspond at all to World War Two? Well. Uh, yeah, I think it was an all-male band. Well, this is uh, Dr. Russell. was uh, probably the first gal to own it because one, one number they did from the concert, contest needed a heart pump. Mm -hmm. And she knew enough about town that, that she could pick up the heart pump. Oh, this is City Hall, Annie. Yeah. That's probably the, yeah, that's probably the first one we had. The first group picture for a long time after 53. Wow. And then this 30 one, years later. Now, and then, and then this one, this is, this is a black and white that you saw. No. I don't recall if I have that black and white up front. Uh -huh. But that 84, that's 87 back then. Why did they stop for like 30 years taking pictures? Well, I don't know. Uh, I guess there just wasn't the occasion, like a special occasion, to have a picture taken. Uh -huh. but now every two or three years, we have a picture taken. Yeah, well, gives you a good sense of history. Yeah, because there's so many people that have played maybe two or three or four years they never got the picture. I have one final question before we head out here. And, uh, my, my friend Corey here, who's behind the camera, got this, uh, this CD mm -hmm. on Sunday when we were here. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you would be so kind as to autograph it for us. Oh, sure. We're Any place you want. Right up through there? Sure. Have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah, we listen to it all the time. Yeah. Sounds good.